Oh, hi guys. Um, apparently you guys want a makeup tutorial. Uh, I get asked all the time about my makeup routine and it's just wild to me because um, I've never really been good at makeup. Uh, I was an 80s babe, grew up in the 90s, so I wore like white eyeliner and blue mascara and like nude lipstick, which was basically just like skin tone. Also, I thought that foundation was okay in mousse form. So I'm not sure why we're, why we're wanting my makeup tutorial, but here we go. I've also never formed a video, filmed a video, where I need to like look in a mirror. So hopefully when I'm looking in the mirror to put my makeup on, it, it'll be okay for you guys. I hope, I hope. Okay. Uh, first off, everything that I'm using here today, I'm gonna have linked in my LTK Like to Know It page um, so that you guys can go shop for all the products that I use myself. Um, there is a huge sale coming up at Sephora starting on the 14th, 30% off all Sephora brand products. And because your girl's a broke bitch, I buy a lot of Sephora brand stuff. I like having um, nice makeup that isn't just drugstore makeup, but I can't afford the bougie stuff. So I do a lot of Sephora brand. Um, most of my rest of my makeup is either e.l.f. or CoverGirl um, or a few other drugstore brands thrown he in here or there. So anyways, that's what you're getting. There's no Charlotte Tilbury happening here. <laughs> I can't afford that stuff. So if you're looking for a makeup routine that is um, drugstore and a little bit of Sephora, this is for you. Also, you're gonna have to just trust the process because when I do my eyeshadow, I look like I've been punched in the face a couple times, but it turns out okay in the end, I promise you. Okay, first off, we're gonna start off with these clips, which I used to watch influencers doing um, makeup and putting these clips in, and I'm like, that's ridiculous, they're not necessary. But then I did my makeup a couple times and my hair kept falling in my face, and so I bought those clips, and now I'm like, oh, okay, sorry, my bad. Also, you guys, you, I'm set up in front of my front window because that's where the best natural light is. And there's construction happening like two doors down. So they've like slowed the traffic in front of my house. So people are like lined up. It's yeah, it's fine. It's totally fine. I'm not embarrassed whatsoever. I can imagine my neighbors driving by and watching me put up like lights and a ring light and being like, is she, does she do OnlyFans? I don't, by the way, but does she? Maybe, maybe she does. No, I do makeup tutorials for people who want to see drugstore makeup <laughs> done by somebody who has no qualifications whatsoever. That's what I do. Okay, we should also like talk about something while I'm doing my makeup. So I think I'm gonna tell you guys about how I met my husband. It's a fun little story with only a few red flags. Okay, up first, um, the product I'm using on my eyes is called Winky Lux. Um, Peeper Perfect. I got this in an Ipsy bag. I don't actually know if I have, if we even sell it in Canada, if you can get it anymore, but I bought it, or I got it in an Ipsy bag and I like it and I've been using it on my eyes. Um, the other one that I use a lot lately has been, where is she? The It Bye Bye Under Eye. Um, it's also a good base for your eyes. Okay, the brush that I'm using, it is a Sephora brush, you guys. It isn't a drugstore brush, but I the, the name part has like come off of it, so I have no idea what it's actually called, but it's like one of these brushes. Also, somebody the other day asked me what I clean my brushes <laughs> with. Um, Dawn Power Spray Dishwash Cleaner? <laughs> I don't know, I don't wash my brushes often enough, and that's probably why I have raging acne, but um, I like that stuff because it cuts the grease, so it get, like cuts all the crap out of your, I don't know. I should probably use like something specifically for cleaning brushes, but I don't. So maybe, maybe don't follow me for that tip. Uh, I'm just gonna throw on a little bit of powder. I'll tell you guys all about it after when I do my foundation. Okay, up next to do my eyeshadow, which I get asked about all the time. Um, I use these pods from Sephora. I also use two other little palettes um, and I'll tell you all about those, but these are the four colors that I primarily use. Spiced Plum, Glazed Donut, Soft Suede, and Espresso. And Espresso is the new one that I bought. Um, I don't love it, so I'm actually gonna substitute it for something else, but I don't know if that's available either. So we're gonna hold off on on spiced plum or on espresso today. But we're gonna start with the lightest one, which is glazed donut. And I'm taking a big brush and I don't know, this is a drugstore brush. This is a drugstore brush, or pardon me, actually it's a Ross brush. I think I got that brush at Ross. So I'm just gonna stick that all over. And I know like some of the girlies do like the cut in thing where you like cut in underneath your eyebrow and like do your concealer there. I don't know how to do that or I haven't tried to do that. So um, we're not doing that today, guys. So we're just putting this all over, okay? 
It's at this point in time, you're like, why am I watching her? Why are we watching her? You're watching me because you want to hear the story about how I met my husband. That's why. Okay, then I'm going to take the soft suede and I'm going to go in just above my crease, kind of like halfway between my crease and my brow. I'm almost out. So we're just like really go we're going for it here. Um, okay, so I met my husband when I was 20 years old right before I turned 21. Uh, we both worked at a grocery store. Um, I had worked there for years before he joined, well, he'd worked at a different location, but uh, it's called Thrifty Foods. And if you live on Vancouver Island or Vancouver, you know that it is the grocery store. And in the early 2000s, it was the place to work. Let me tell you, if you were young, um, it used to be so hard to get a job there, but that was back when jobs were hard to get. <laughs> but anyways, I worked as a cashier um, and he worked in the produce department he wasn't a grocery monkey um okay now I put that on you can't really tell the difference also I already look like I'm being punched in the face but like just bear with me okay they were going in with spice plum which is a little bit of a red maroon shimmer to it this is the brush that I'm using um I don't know where this brush came from um now for me I have hooded eyes so my eyes like kind of like droop down a little bit so I'm gonna go like right above that part so that you can actually see some of the red I'm gonna get a lot on my brush and I'm gonna give her. Okay, so my husband, um, he was working in the produce department and I used to work a lot of late shifts because I would go to school during the day and then I would work a lot of um, closing evening shifts. Um, and I, you don't have to go right down to the lash line because we're gonna put another color on there. So just kind of like a little rainbow, a little rainbow of red on my eyes. Um, okay, so I was working a lot of late, late shifts. I noticed that there was a new guy in the produce department because like any 20 year old, I was like scoping out all the guys. I had actually just come out of like a shitty relationship where a guy had treated me real, real poor. Um, so I, uh, I was a little bit gun shy. So, but also I was 20 years old. So, and I was entering my like hot era, like my braces came off, my boobs came in, my acne started to like go away a little bit. It it's always been there, but like I was entering my hot girl era. So. I realized that like high school wasn't the be all and end all and you know I was feeling me so anyways one night we were working and he like was smiling at me like you know walking by and I was like mm -hmm, yeah whatever you know that kind of flirty crap okay we've got the red on um up next we're going to go in with and this is where we do the dark brown the one I was using for a couple days there was this espresso but it's not really dark enough it's like and it's got a bit of a red tinge to it too you can use this if you don't want a super dark one, but I'm gonna go in with this Sephora palette. I love, and I'm gonna go in with this really dark one on the end there. And I'm just doing up, not quite to the tip of my crease. So I was working with a friend of mine at the time who is single as well, well, kind of sort of dating somebody, but like mostly single. And every time the guy would like smile at me, my now husband, I was like, I think he's like trying to like get me to talk to him because I think he wants your number. She was all like, no, he doesn't want my number. I'm like, I think he does. She's like, I don't think he does. Anyways, I was walking by the produce department, going to get something for a customer. And look at, look like I'm punching the eye. Just trust me on this, okay? Trust me. So I um, walk by the produce department and he is uh, smiling at me. So like, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like engage. And I was like, hi, you new here? Yeah, new here, blah, 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 blah. So he starts to talk to me. And I was like, just a second, I'm just, I'm working with, I've got, I'm helping a customer. I'll be right back. So I go help the customer and I go, go to my girlfriend and I'm like, look, he is like totally, he's totally flirting with me. He wants, he, he's going to ask me for your number. Can I give it to him? She's like, no, I'm dating someone else. You're not giving me my, my number. I'm like, okay, fine. So I go back over armed with like a shitload of confidence because I'm not thinking he's asking my, for my number because again, he's old. And so I go back over there. Sure enough, he asks me for my number. Trust me you guys we're not doing zombie makeup I promise trust me okay so the brown is on up next we're going in with this palette um, it has six colors but I only use this one and this one we're gonna do this one and it's very pigmented so we're just doing a tiny little bit over top of the red um, because I just like to add a little bit of gold look to the eyes but don't use too much if you're gonna get this stuff because it is very 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 pigmented and it'll sort of like change the color entirely. I just wanted to add a little bit of gold. Okay, that's in. Next, we're using this one and we're going in the corners and then on the outsides, like that. 
Um, so sure enough, he's like, hey, can I have your number? And so I was so taken aback because here I was like thinking he was going to ask for her number and he asked for my number. And I was like, uh, sure. Because, you know, I was 20 years old and incapable, incapable of saying no. But I, at first I wasn't like, I wasn't all about him. I was like, mm, okay, you're old. Okay, there we go. What the hell, Ashley? That doesn't look good. I know. You gotta grab your makeup pad and your micellar water because we're washing it off underneath. I use the Equate micellar water. It's cheap. It's the best stuff I've found. It doesn't have a scent. It doesn't have this oily finish to it. Nothing. I love this stuff. Um, I use it all the time. It is hard to come by. So I buy like two or three bottles when I see it. So now we're gonna take the makeup off from underneath my eye. Okay, makeup is all off from underneath my eye. Now I think what you're supposed to do if you were like good at makeup is like blend, blend, blend until all those colors in your eye mush in together real well. But what I do is just continue to talk and put my makeup on and by the end they've all blended in. I promise you it will look good. Uh, up next we're gonna do eyeliner. Um, I'm using Sephora's Eyeliner Liquid Intense in the color two, which is like a dark brown. I'm not doing a wing, even though, yes, I grew up in the era of doing the big wing, thick wing. I was never very good at it, and I don't actually love how it looks on my face, so I'm just doing like a nice thin line, or perhaps a thick line if I fuck it up and have to do it thicker. <laughs> okay, there we go. The eyeliner is on. So up next, we're doing primer, and I love the e.l.f. primer. Uh, this one is with niacinamide, and I think it's a dupe for the milk one. I think that's what everybody says. Um, this stuff is like 10, I bought it in the States and it was 10 bucks, so I don't know, 12 to something. That's about as much as I want to spend for on a primer, 12 to $14 here. I started off with like the greeny blue color one. It's like the regular one, and I quite liked it. It was really good. I switched over to the niacinamide one because somebody said it was better for acne prone skin. I don't know if that's true or not, but we're using it. Um, anyways, it's a sticky primer, so if you're looking for one that's like one of those soft primers, this is not it. Um, the Benefit one I really like as a soft primer, but this one I like for holding my foundation in. So the Benefit one I feel like is good for like my forehead and making sure I don't have wrinkles, but I've only ever used the Benefit one when yeah, I've got like a sample because again, broke ass. So we're using this. Put it on. I use three pumps. I also can't do that thing where like they squish it onto their, or, like they do it onto their face because I just, I drip it everywhere when I do that. So we're not doing that. We're going to put it on like this and then I just rub it in and try to get some underneath the eyes that hold my concealer. Okay, now I'm gonna go wash this off my hands because it's super sticky and I need a minute for it to dry. Okay, that's on. Now I'm gonna go in and do my under eye concealer and remember, basic bitch. That's why I still use CoverGirl CG cover sticks because they're the best. I have used them since I was like 14 years old. I find that they work really well under my dark circles and I have wicked dark under eye circles and they cover my, um, acne really well and um, because and I need multiple colors because I have dark acne scars um I like the price point on these they're like five bucks six bucks you can't go wrong so no hate okay um I use three different colors uh 705 710 and 715 depending on where I want the color I use 705 underneath my eyes because it's a little bit lighter uh, and 710 and 715 on my pimples or other dark areas. I also use 725, but I just use it down like the bridge of my nose when I'm doing my contour. So we're gonna start with 705 under the eyes. We're also going to do triangles, which I know everybody is like, triangles, like we don't do, we haven't done triangles in a long time. Yeah, well, you might not, but I do. <laughs> so we're gonna paint that shit on, okay? It's nice and thick, it's not going anywhere. But as you can see, it's like way too light for the rest of my skin, but. There we go. Up next, I'm gonna do 710 around my nose and some of my other spots. Some of my darker acne spots, we're gonna wait. I'm gonna show you, we're gonna do those in a second, but I have to do something else first. Okay, that's on, now I'm gonna blend. Okay, back to my husband. So he asks me for my number and I give him my number. And I'm like, okay, when do you wanna go out? And he's like, I wanna go out with you for sure, but we can't go out for like a week. Red flag number one, you guys. If you were young, okay, who am I kidding? No one young is watching this tutorial. Okay. If you know somebody who's young who's dating and you're telling them this story, that is like a number one red flag. Anyways, I, um, I didn't see it. I was too blind. Also, he didn't have a cell phone because this is like the early 2000s, right? Like probably like 2004, 2000. Yeah, probably like 2004. Um, yeah, 2003. 
we've been together we'll be together 20 years this year anyways um yeah so he asked me for my number um I don't get his phone number he gets mine because I have a cell phone he I don't get his so he calls me a couple times and we work a few shifts together between now and when we're supposed to go on our date and it's great. It's really sweet. He actually, this fucker goes to Tim Hortons one night and buys me my favorite donut on our break. It's so cute. Anyways, he used to take his breaks to like match up with mine. Just coincidence that we'd meet in the lunchroom, but no, he was doing it on purpose. Maybe. Um, Up next, we're going to cover the zits and we're going to use the NYX. Oh, I'm so mad at that. Studio Photogenic Concealer. It's the green stuff. It neutralizes the red, which is the zits. But make sure you put it on and then start blending right away. So we're going to do this fast, okay? For some reason it dries super super fast so i have to be careful when i do it um okay so we spend a few um days having lunch breaks together and talking and getting to know each other then what rolls around to be the day that we're supposed to go out on a date happens and he's gonna call me and the fucker never calls me and this also happens to be december 14th and I'm like, okay, well, I knew we were, I was, I was hoping, I was hoping he was going to like book a dinner reservation, but because I just got out of a relationship with a real idiot, I also like, didn't think that that was something I should expect, but simply wanted. A lot's changed, you guys. Anyways, he doesn't call me. Red flag number two. And I'm upset. And I'm like, okay, whatever. He doesn't want to go out with me. That's fine. Then he calls me the next day and it's like, sorry, stuff came up. I, um, I couldn't call you let's go out on a date tomorrow, which I worked that evening, but I was like, okay, let's go on a date. Okay, so he calls me, asks me out on a date. I'm like, fine, let's go. We're gonna go on a date. I'm having emotional support coke, you guys. Can't get through the rest of the story without it. So we set up the date. We're going downtown to have Chinese food for lunch. He wanted to have war wonton soups. So I'm like, okay, for sure. Never had that before. Sounds great. The man talked the entire date, like would not shut up. And in hindsight, it's probably the funniest thing ever because I can't get him to say two words now. He's a man of few words, but he was super nervous apparently. Like really intimidated by me for some reason. Anyways, uh, next we're going in with Elf Halo Glow. <sighs> I don't know how I feel about this stuff. I've only just started recently using it. I have the shade Light Medium. This stuff is pretty hard to find. Um, but I do like the shimmer or the shine or the glow that it gives me the first half of the day. But again, I have oily skin. So by like midway through the day, it's no longer a shimmer. It's like a sheen across my forehead and it screams like oily skin. So I'm going to use it for you guys today so you can see how cute my skin looks after my makeup's done. But I, I don't know if we're going to continue using it. Anyways, I um, use it sparingly right now because we're not, we're not sure what we think of it. So... We go downtown, he orders war wonton soup, we're eating in. Do y'all know that war wonton soup has fucking squid in it? Like chunks of squid, big ass squids, didn't know that. So partway through the lunch when we're having our soup, I actually um, try to chew one and then I try to swallow. Anyways, I end up choking on it, full on choking on the squid. But because Chatterbox across from me just keeps going and just won't shut up talking about his family and his life and blah, 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 blah. He doesn't even notice that I'm choking on the squid because his head is down. And he's like eating and talking, like just giving her. Um, anyways, somebody next to us noticed that I was choking and they were like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah. and I finally eventually managed to swallow the squid. He to this day says he doesn't, didn't even notice that I was choking on squid. So we're going to add some more concealer into my eyes because I didn't do enough, you guys. I didn't do enough. Um, so anyways, the date goes well, the, we sit and chat and he like, seems like a nice dude. I'm, I'm basically falling head over heels at, at this point in time. With the men. Um, he, uh, he goes to pay for <laughs> lunch. Guess whose credit card is declined or bank card is declined. So that was like, huh, weird. Okay. It was like a $20 lunch and he couldn't pay for that, but okay, whatever. So I let it go. We have a nice night. Um, we have like a nice afternoon. He walks me into my car. He doesn't kiss me. And I was annoyed by that, but whatever. He's being a gentleman, maybe. Um, so I uh, say goodbye, go to work, tell all my girlfriends all about him. And here, um, there we go. Okay, happier with that under eye look. Up next, we're gonna do foundation. 
Okay, foundation. Um, I use the Sephora brand Best Skin Ever. I really like this. It says it's a long wear and I feel like it lasts all day for me. I'm happy with it. I use two colors right now, 15.5 and 11.5. There's almost nothing left. So yes, I am going to extract the rest of it with a bobby pin because like I said, it's going on sale in a week or two and I refuse to pay full price for something when I know it's going on sale. It's uh, reasonably priced up here in Canada. It's like 23 bucks, I think, for a bottle of this stuff. So 23, is that what it is? No, 25, 25. Anyways, when it comes on sale, it's going to be like 17 bucks. So, um, yeah, <laughs> that's what we're doing. What I like about this is because I use tanning oil, um, to make my like face a little bit darker, um, throughout the year, um, I tend to have, like, if I forget to tan put my tanning oil on one day, I'm going to be lighter or darker. And the inexpensive nature of this stuff is, lends itself to me being able to purchase a few bottles at a time and be able to mix and match my colors without it being like a huge expense. So that's one of the reasons why I love this stuff. Um, I've tried drugstore foundations um, and I haven't really landed on anything that I like really love. So we're almost there guys. <laughs> I keep telling myself like 10 days and I get a new bottle. Okay, uh, I've got that. Now I'm gonna add a couple pumps of the 11.5 to my hand. Perfect and we're gonna put it on. I suddenly envision myself being that girl that's like, you know the girl that went around TikTok for a while there that was doing like 20 pumps and you just smear it all over your face. <laughs> Somebody's gonna be like, this is Ashley's way of doing it. I don't think it's very good, but we're gonna try it. Okay, I'm gonna blend that in. Okay, here we go. We're blending and we're bitching. So he, um, we ended up going on a couple more dates. We go on a date where I think our second, this was horrible. I can't even believe that I did this. Second date, he asked me to go on a date with him, um, but again, no money, remember? So we go for a drive. Uh, we go get ice cream and then we go for a drive and we drive up like this like kind of like mountainous pass area near us, but it's like really nice and dark at the top so you can watch, like look at the stars. That ends up being a thing that we do uh, during our dating, our courtship, if you will, <laughs> during our dating time, um, looking at stars. But anyway, I got in a car with a man that I barely know and I drove up to a very dark road. And I laid on the hood of his car and we looked at stars. Yeah, things not to do. Things I will be teaching my daughter not to do. Anyways, um, that was really nice. We had a really good date. He didn't kiss me there either. Then the third date we went, um, oh yeah, yeah. The third date we went for a walk down on the pier um, where the boats are and everything and just like got to know each other. That was the date where he told me what was going on in his life. <laughs> Shockingly, you guys, spoiler alert here, he had someone else in his life. He had an ex-girlfriend that refused to move out of his house. Apparently they'd broken up like a month earlier and he, she was refusing to move out. Um, that's why I never got his phone number because all he had was a landline and didn't want me to call and talk to her. Um, she also cleared out his bank account entirely. So he had no money. So, um, yeah. Anyways, she turned out to be a little bit crazy, but aren't all exes crazy? Isn't, at least isn't that what the guy said? I'm sure he probably did her so wrong. I'm sure that there's probably more to the story. He's never confessed to me, but I'm sure he was probably like a complete dick to her and that's why she was a crazy biatch to him. Although she turned out to actually be a little bit crazy and she tried to like get in contact with me a few times. I remember like we had been dating for like three or four months at this point in time and she like waited for me one day by my car. Somebody had said that I was on my lunch break. Somebody came in and said they were my cousin here to see me and I'm like, I don't have any female cousins here. So that doesn't make any sense. Anyways, we had a quick chat in my car. She realized that I was equally as crazy and she backed off after that. So all's good. Okay, up next, uh, foundation powder foundation. I use the Sephora brand in Fair Pink, number 10. Um, and we're almost out, but again, I'm waiting until the sale <laughs> so that I can get more. So, there we go. Now I know this is weird that I do it this way, but this is just how I do it. Now I'm going to go on tour. <laughs> I use the L'Oreal Infallible Stick in 411 Chestnut. I hate this stuff. It's so goopy. It gets like everywhere. It's so gross, but this is what we're using guys. This is what we're using. Okay. I don't know what the hell I'm doing with this stuff, but I watched the makeup girlies on TikTok and this is what they look like they do. So I'm going to put it down here and down here. And then they put it underneath here. I think it's to make your jawline look a little bit more snatched. I'm not too sure as the youngins say. And then I put it on my nose to like sleek it out. Although I saw somebody the other day sticking it right on the top, but I feel like that would flatten your nose. So maybe if your nose is too pointed and you want to flatten it out, you do that. I don't know. And then we get to blending. 
Oh, when did he finally kiss me? I'll tell you when he finally kissed me. Um, it was not on the date when we walked on the pier where he told me that um, his life was in shambles and he had a crazy ex, crazy ex girlfriend. Um, oh no, it was that day. He walked me back to my car and that's when he gave me a kiss. It was cute, it was sweet. But man, he knew what he was doing too. I remember asking him later on, being like, were you trying not to kiss me? And he wanted to make sure that I was okay with this crazy ex-girlfriend situation. Before I fell madly in love with him, which was too late, because I probably did on the night that he bought me my favorite donut, because I thought that was really, really sweet. But, you know. Since then, ladies, the standards have changed. Now it's not about sweet donuts that he brings home. It's about the amount of laundry that he does. And oftentimes... It will be if he's cooked dinner or not. That defines my love for him. So we blend that shit in like that. And then on the other side. Anyways, yeah. We got married four years after that. We dated for four years, I think. Oh, no, no. We dated for three and a half years. Four years. No, on our four, that's what it was. On our fourth dating anniversary, he proposed to me. We got married. Um at five and a half years together because I planned our wedding for a year and a half because I was neurotic and so excited about planning our wedding. Okay, that's all done. Then yes, I go in with a little bit more foundation to uh, sort of set what I did there. Okay, up next is blush. You guys always ask me about my blush. Um, Maybelline Fit Me. I barely have any of that left. I got to get some more. In the color Plum, I have been using this since again I was like 15 years old and I love it. I love this color so much. I've tried a couple other blushes here and there, but I keep going back to this one um, because it's got like a little bit of a purpley tinge. Again, it's called plum. So I love it. I also, this brush, I don't know where the hell it's from. I think it was an Ipsy bag too. Um, I probably need a new one. Stick that in there. Okay. There's my blush. Up next, I've been using this Revolution um, palette. Uh, I got it when I was down in the States. I think you can get it up here though. I really only use those three colors. Um, I think I'll probably end up using those ones more in the summer when I'm looking for more of like a, a gold look on my cheeks. But for now, we just go with a little bit of pink. And my nails. There we go. Um, now I'm gonna do my brows. I hate doing brows so much because I'm so bad at it. So you guys can just like disregard anything I have to say about my brows right now. This is the pen I'm using, pencil. It's by Cara Beauty. It's like double-ended. I got it at Winners. And then I use this NYX brow glue. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Um, I'll sort of like tell you guys a little bit about the story about how we got engaged because this was really, really cute. My now husband did a lot of growing up time between the time that we started dating and the time that we, by the time we got engaged, he, um, he was a bit of a party animal. He was, when I kept saying that he was old, it was because he was 29 when I met him and I was 20 years old. So he's like eight and a half years older than me. Um, and he had lived a lot of life in the time, in the nine years that he was older than me. Um, but yeah, so for our fourth dating anniversary i remember i came home oops i came home um one day from school or work or something i can't remember and he had um put a uh, like a manila envelope on the bed and i think i moved in with him we'd been dating probably about almost a year when i moved in with him um so we were living together and he put this envelope on my bed and I was like, okay, what's this? And I, our bed, and I like opened it up and it there was like a bunch of rules and things I needed to do. And one of them was like to go to my mom and dad's house. So I'm like, okay. So I go to my mom and dad's house. Okay, I'm actually actually happy with the brows today. Um, so I go to my mom and dad's house and my mom and dad like have another envelope there. Um, and I open up that envelope and it tells me that I need to go shopping and these are the things that I need to buy. And so I do all these things and he'd find like this like, romantic getaway for us for the weekend um up island at a place called Tynamara Resort it's beautiful if you guys are going to Vancouver Island and you're looking for a place to stay Tynamara Resort is gorgeous it's in Parksville so we go there and um, we're celebrating our I had to buy like a nice dress and bring my bathing suit they have like a spa there and everything so anyways we're having like this nice weekend away and then my husband says he wants to drive to Tofino 
And I'm like, fuck, I don't want to drive to Tofino. I'd never been to Tofino before. Um, for those of you who know, it's like further up the island, but the road can be a little bit ugh, rough to drive and I get car sick. So I was like, we've already driven two hours to get where we are now. I don't want to drive to Tofino, but okay, fine. Let's go to Tofino. Um, setting spray. This is what I used. NYX matte finish. I hate putting setting spray on my face. Uh, it's a sensory thing for me. Like, I feel like I'm going to choke, gag. I hate it. So here we go. <gasps> Okay, now we're gonna do the eyes. Uh, I'm gonna tight line with this Maybelline Tattoo Studio pen. Um, I love this, it's like a gel uh, liner, but um, it's not waterproof, so it doesn't stay on for very long. So I'm gonna do it uh, for you to show you what it looks like, but I will, um, I will suggest that you get one that's waterproof instead of this one. But I do really like this one. If you're looking for like a gel liner, um, this one's a good one. Also, I definitely, definitely um, Googled what tight lining was <laughs> because I knew what I wanted to do. I just didn't know what this was called. Anyways, it makes your eyes look like fuller apparently, but I find it, it makes me want to cry. Whew. Um, next, we're going to curl the lashes. Um, I'm not going to do the Alex Earl method where you shove the eye curler in your eye. I have like severe anxiety about these, you guys. I ripped out all of my eyelashes one time. I was trying to do my mascara. I was trying to curl my lashes and put boots on at the same time because I was late for work. And I put the boot on and I was like curling my eyelashes and my I slipped and I pulled my eyelashes out of I pulled my this out of my hand to brace myself on the floor and I pulled all of my eyelashes out. It was not great. Anyways, um, I just do a little curl twice. The best eyelash curler I ever got was from um, Avon, which is not somewhere I want to support. So I haven't gone back to look for them, but it was like a little heated one and it like curled my eyelashes so good. Uh, the best mascara in the entire world. I don't care what you say. I've used so many mascaras, Maybelline Sky High. And I have splurged at Sephora and bought like, I bought like better than sex mascara. I bought like, what is it? Too, too fake. Uh, anyways, I bought a ton of them, a ton of mascaras. I keep coming back to this one because nothing is as good as this stuff, you guys. So good. Okay. You know, never to like pump your mascara, wiggle the wand around, but don't pump because it gets air in it. Um, okay, so he wants to drive to Tofino. I'm like, no way, I don't want to drive to Tofino. But I'm like, he is adamant about going to Tofino. So I'm like, fine, fuck, fine. Okay, let's go to Tofino, we'll go to Tofino. I'm trying to be like, not a bitch on our anniversary weekend. And he is really, really wanting to go to Tofino. So we drive all the way to Tofino. I complain about being car sick all the way there. I make him pull over a few times because I feel like I'm going to be sick. Um, which is like legit, like I was not feeling well on the car ride to Tofino. We're walking along the beach. He's like saying all these nice, sweet things to me, which remember after date one, the man didn't talk to me because he says like three words in real life, like ever. So I'm like, holy shit, is he ever like spilling his guts how much he loves me and all the like, like all these like very sweet things that he says to me. And then he gets down on one knee and proposes to me right there in the middle of Long Beach. It was the sweetest, most wonderful thing ever. And I felt like a complete dick because I'd been all like, nope, nope, nope. I don't want to go to Long Beach and to go to Tofino and it was all because he wanted to propose to me in Tofino on the beach which was very sweet of him but you know what sucked I had black nail polish on I had put black nail polish on that weekend because I was trying to be edgy it was not a good look for a brand new wedding band fingered hand so then I made him take me to the drugstore so that I could buy new nail polish so I could change my nail polish so that when I showed people my wedding ring it looked like my engagement ring I wasn't wearing black nail polish anyways safe to see the car ride back to the resort I wasn't really feeling all that car sick <laughs> he's done a lot of really sweet things for me he's a very he can be a very romantic man uh, I'm not putting on a second coat of mascara because we're gonna do falsies today there you go Okay, up next, my lashes. No, they're not new out of the box because again, your girl's broke. Um, some of my favorite falsies to use are um, the natural wispies, not the regular wispies, the natural wispies by Ardell. These aren't these, I can't remember what these ones are called, but we're using these ones today. Um, some tips I have for putting these on is make sure you put the glue on the lash and on your lash line and um make sure that the tools that you're using to stick the, these on don't have any glue on them because if they do then these will stick to your tweezers or whatever you're using to apply and 
it will be a hot mess. So anyways, I'm gonna put these on, I'll be right back. Okay, there we go. Popped on those lashes. It only took me five minutes, you guys, that's it, that's all. Okay, and then our final touch is lipstick. Now the lipstick I'm gonna use today because I'm just feeling a little bit sassy and wanna use this lipstick is the one that is discontinued and I can't tell you guys where to get it because it's wiped off the bottom. It's by Essence, uh, I bought this years ago. This is all I have left of it and it makes my heart like so sad that it's almost gone and I can't get any more and this is the lip pencil that goes with it. The lip pencil is called Going Steady. Um, but what I did do is take this to Sephora and this was the closest they could match for me. Um, it's the Sephora brand lipstick and it's called, it's number 65 and it's called Spiked. It's pretty good dupe. It's a pretty good dupe. It's not exactly the same as this one, but it's pretty good. But we're gonna put this one on today, okay? Okay, we're overlining. I didn't know this is a thing that we did guys until recently, we overline. Get those big full lips. I still feel like it looks a little bit weird, but whatever. I'm gonna go with it. Okay, and then the lipstick. I love it, love it so much. Okay, there we go guys. That is my finished makeup look. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, and my stories and um yeah I don't want to hear in the comments section if I did any of my makeup wrong okay I'm happy with how it is I'm cool with it this is this is what I'm going for this is the look that I love so there you go I'm off to do some shopping at Walmart now looking full glam <laughs> thanks for watching guys